the Enterprise Ireland and the IDA. They set up this cloud competency centre to service the needs of the industry, basically. It's industry driven, you know, so this is not something that's um, uh, commonplace, uh, but the technology centres are this new framework which allows the industry to have more of a say in the type of research that is carried out. And as I said, funded by Enterprise Ireland and, and the IDA. And their remit really is to support technology development, deployment and adoption in terms of cloud technologies in the industry. Uh, so that was the main reason they were set up, uh, that it was set up. Now how did it go about doing it? Um, a panel of experts were put together to describe the needs of the sector. It was put together in a document, you know, so um, this is our master plan. Um, and if we do all of this, then we're going to fast track or speed up cloud adoption uh, and cloud technology uh, deployment in, in Ireland. Uh, and it would aid a lot of the further development of the SME sector as well, um, and create new business process uh, models that can be uh, migrated to the cloud, etc. And support the whole interop interoperability of those business businesses when they are on the cloud, etc. So that's uh, where the cloud technology center would have come from. So you have a large group of companies then who got together, and the, the likes of Fujitsu, IBM, Intel, Microsoft, etc. Um, and they provided the information that they saw would be best best suited to uh, advance cloud adoption and uh, the uh, rollout of cloud technology in Ireland. And um, then there was a bid for, well, who can provide the research basically to support this? So ourselves in terms of DCU, the business school here in DCU and the School of Computing in DCU, um, we partnered up with uh, colleagues in University College Cork, so Professor John Morrison and his groups down there, uh, Philip Healy, et cetera, and uh, with Athlone Institute of Technology with Dr. Brian Lee and Enda Fallon and a cohort of people down there. And we put together a proposal to um, satisfy the requirements of this detailed description of needs across four major themes, which was uh, cloud architecture, um, life cycle, uh, business research, and cloud security. So we have four separate team leaders as a result of that, and they're the four key aspects that were being controlled within the uh, Cloud Technology Center. And we have a five-year program of work, so we, we won the initial award for the National Cloud Technology Center, so we had the initial research phase for one year, and we have been um, uh, assessed just recently uh, in terms of the first year's program of work, and um, that the announcement for the next phase, which is a five-year research program, uh, worth about 1.2 million per annum, um, is going to come out, I think, at the end of November. So it's, it'll be with the IRCC in Enterprise Ireland first for adjudication. I think we're, we're in a game of catch-up at the moment. Uh, they, as you say, the technology companies are doing their bit. They're putting out the cloud technologies. They're, they're making the advancements. Um, and the larger corporates and the multinationals, I think, are already on board on this. They're, they have their uh, their ducks aligned, whatever way uh, you want. So they know wh where the market is going in terms of this and what the businesses uh, that they want to target are. Uh, I think the, the major problem to date has been the SME adoption. So this for the smaller businesses because they're a bit wary of getting involved in cloud. People would talk about like, are, is my data secure in the cloud? Like, where is my data, etc. Like, you know, so there are there are issues where they would have general um, genuine concerns. Um, but I think most of those issues have been addressed, and that's the problem. Like there's, there's, there's an educational aspect to it that we need to get that information out there um, about how secure the uh, various cloud services are, um, and the fact that there are huge, huge companies that are already using these uh, uh, both, both public, private, and hybrid cloud structures uh, for storing their data and for, and for running their business processes. Um, and I think if we, have, if we can get that out there, uh, to the SMEs and, and, and further convince them that migration to the cloud and cloud deployment is, is not something scary, uh, then I think we're in a better position. And the technology center does provide that facility to a certain extent anyway, because it would, in conjunction with, with our colleagues in uh, UCC and John Marson's group down there, there's an incubation center where you can try on cloud for size, for example, for your business, which is, I think is a, a very interesting development. So my colleague in the business school, uh, Dr. Theo Lin, like he's got a group, and they're generating new uh, reports, white papers, et cetera, like, you know, for how to um, move your business towards the cloud, uh, what are the benefits are, uh, what's, the, what's the economies of scale, et cetera, like, you know, what are the pros and the cons, et cetera. And this can be tailored to individual types of um, sectors, uh, sizes of companies, 
um, or multinationals, etc., and also to the actual business processes themselves. So we have this wealth of knowledge, as you say, in Ireland at the moment. We have this abundance of riches in terms of technology and skilled people as well in terms of generating um, graduates which are being snapped up left, right and centre at the moment. And the tech sector is generating more jobs, I think, than any other sector at the moment as well. I mean, you've done a number of uh, uh, articles in this, in this area already. Um, but to, uh, to get back to uh, what so some of the outputs are, like, so the technology centre then can support SMEs in um, the technology centre through its, its work programmes, like in architecture and security and um, uh, business processes and um, uh, service lifecycle, can support SMEs in actually getting access to cloud technologies, uh, recommending what are the right ones to adopt, you know, what's best for their business, etc. So this whole issue of how do I migrate and what are the interoperability concerns, a lot of that has been addressed by the Cloud Technology Centre for the good of the industry. And then we also have other facilities as well. I mean, apart from the, the Technology Centre, which is industry-driven, uh, specific needs may can be addressed as well. So I mean, we are constantly getting involved in, with some of our partners, for example, that are involved in the technology centre, like uh, Inishtech, in doing targeted research as well. You know, which is in a, in a specific area. So it's not exactly for the good of the industry, but it's it's in a specific niche area of cloud, um, where they see a, mar a market advantage if they were to pursue that. You know, so there are it's it's a bigger scope than that. So while the cloud technology centre provides one ve vehicle, which is very very powerful and is trying to raise all ships as fast as possible in terms of cloud adoption and cloud deployment. We also have other mechanisms, other instruments, you know, in terms of the Cloud Core Research Centre where we can do targeted uh, innovation partnerships, for example, with companies as well.